Let's build your membership site from scratch using 100% free software. Hey, I'm Jason, faith-based entrepreneur and marketing geek. Timestamps below, along with some other helpful links and resources, including a link to our sales funnel template pack that includes all of our funnel templates, email campaign, and a done-for-you course framework so you can get up and running as quickly as possible. Now, when it comes for, to the purposes of this guide, I'm going to assume that you already know what your digital product or course or content is going to be about. So we'll just jump straight into how Systemi organizes content and actually start building out your membership site. So Systemi uses a two-tiered system. It's nice and simple. You have modules and you have lectures, AKA lessons. They're pretty interchangeable, right? So this is just an example of what a simple five course module outline might look like. And we've also included it in the template to help you if you need to fill in the gaps with whatever your ideas are. And so just have an idea of how you want to organize all of your content in the context of two levels. You have modules and then you have all the lessons or lectures underneath them. And inside those modules or inside those lectures and lessons is where you put all of your actual content. So let's go ahead, jump into Systemi and build this out. So of course, from any page in your account, just come up here to products and then go ahead and click on courses. To create a new course, you'll click new course. And this is what you're going to use for any sort of digital product delivery. So even if you're just delivering a template uh, or you have some sort of ebook, I would recommend doing it this way because it gets people used to coming to your membership site to grab things and it makes it super easy to update. So you just update the course and then you say, hey everybody, go check out the membership site for the update as opposed to uh, sending out emails and then you will inevitably get people emailing you saying, can you please send me the email again? I, I forgot, I can't find it in my inbox. And you're like, nothing is deleted in your inbox. You just use the search bar. But anyway, <laughs> we'll put everything inside of our membership site. And then of course, I'll show you how to connect it to your funnels. Now to speed things up, the template linked up in the description is already ready to go for us. So, and once you've loaded up the template, we just need to change it to whatever your offer is. So of course we have the course title, your instructor name, the language that your students will be speaking. This will affect the menus. And then we'll want to have a quick little description that is a teaser. So here you wanna write it for someone who hasn't purchased the course yet. And you'll see why that matters in a little bit. And then we also included our course outline here. We just weren't sure the best place to put it. So you can delete it, but this is here to help you if you are still looking for figuring out how to organize your course or add some content. Then we have our custom domain. To set up your custom domains, all you need to do is go to your settings and click on domains. And Systemi has a documentation on how to change your DNS records so you can get your custom domain. Then for your URL path, unless you're doing something advanced, I would just leave this alone. Um, this is something that's really helpful if you're doing some advanced tracking and you want every page to have the course name in it. So something like course A would be the URL path and then Systemi would add the random um, characters that represent your different uh, module, your different uh, lesson pages. So I'll go ahead and undo that. Now, when it comes to the theme, this is, I would arguably say, for me, this is, like the most disappointing part of this entire software. So I'm gonna change it to teal, just so you can see how obnoxious it is. And um, I do hope that in the future, we get to just choose a custom color. That would be really nice. Um, font is just your default font, but you'll still have full control when you're making your lesson pages. And of course your teacher photo, logo, and then course cover. Your course cover is gonna be 1920 by 780, 7, 720. <laughs> Uh, yeah, 720. So size of a YouTube thumbnail. Um, you'll want to also play with the uh, spacing of things because as you'll see in a moment, there's actually curved edges. So you don't want to put things right on the edge of your image. You actually want to bring it in like two or three pixels, but you'll see in a moment. And then for the sales page, this is going to essentially tell Systemi which funnel promotes this offer. And this is going to matter in a moment, but you can see here, I've chosen my demo template and I've chosen the sales letter for that. And then of course we have the tr tracking code area for your entire membership site. You can also turn off modules. So if you just want to have a nice long list of lesson pages, you don't wanna organize them by modules, then you can go ahead and turn that off here. So enough with the settings, I'm gonna go ahead and click save 
And now we're gonna jump over to our school here and you're going to see a preview. So this is the preview of what it looks like. You can see how the edges are kind of rounded. And so for like these ones, I used to have this icon flush and it just looked kind of funny. So you will want to play around with that a little bit to make sure that things uh, come across looking professional because this is your membership site. People paid to have access to this. Now, the other thing too, is you can see we have our course title and we'll have your name here. And then you'll have this little preview. So this is way too much info, by the way. Uh, but you can see here, our little one sentence kind of unique selling proposition is designed for people who have not purchased yet. So you can have these show up here. People can see the other things that you have to offer them. And if they click get access, they'll be taken directly to the sales page that you set up. Now, because this is demo, I'm going to click get access and it's just going to take me to a preview. Now you can see here, this is the teal color um, that we chose that I chose just to show you what uh, the theme colors actually affect. So it's pretty much the top bar and then they'll do a lighter version here uh, around your navigation. So if I go back to course settings and I change it back to the default theme, because I think that looks a lot better and then I refresh this page, now you'll be able to see that it's this nice dark blue and they have this nice neutral uh, gray or bluish gray. And so that's what I like about that. You'll see we have the picture of yourself, your name, and then of course you can go ahead and click through the different lessons inside of this first module. And then we'll go through the page building and all this other information in a moment. So that does it for your course settings. And then a quick little preview of what your membership site could look like. So now of course we need to add some content. So I'm going to come back out. I'm going to click on our course here and you can see here, we can go ahead and add modules. So these are the modules. And then inside of the modules, we can add lectures. Now we can click and drag these modules around if we want to change the order of them. And you can also click and drag your lessons between different modules. So now this is in lesson three. <laughs> I wanted it in two. There we go. Now it's in lesson two. Now it's back to lesson one. And before we dive into creating the actual module or lesson content, you'll go ahead and click these three little dots. You'll see we have some uh, options here. Duplicate is going to be your best friend in a moment. But for now, if we click on settings, you can see that we actually create a can create a delay. So if you want this to come maybe week number two or three of them being part of the course or membership site, you can do that. You can also time this based upon for a free trial. So let's say you give someone a free seven day trial to one of your courses, right? And you can actually delay some of the content so that they only see it after seven days. Now, obviously if you did it with all of it, then they can't see anything. But if you have some more proprietary information or you're like, I spent way too long on this template to be giving it away completely free at times, then you can go ahead and just have that particular section delayed after whatever the free trial is. You can also enable comments. I haven't played too much with the communities part of Systema yet, but I would go ahead and leave comments off unless you really plan on being in there every day answering questions. And then still I would suggest leave comments off and just make a community, right? So I'll go ahead and exit out of this and I'll jump into lesson number one here so we can go through our elements. Now, this is what the page looks like. So if I look at this page and I jump over to our live preview, uh, remove, <laughs> remove this awkward space, but as you can see, we're just editing what's in this white box. So if I click on template two, which is one of theirs, you'll see, only things that are being edited is in this white box. And that's what we are editing here. So of course, you're probably going to have a video, a quick little overview, maybe a download button to a template or script or worksheet, and then some extra resources. And this is also a great place to include some affiliate promotions as well, because they're already in your course, they're already doing the work. And you can say, hey, these resources I think will be helpful in terms of helping you go further and faster in whatever it is that you're working on. And so what I would recommend doing is whatever design you want for all of your lesson pages, whatever elements you want for all of your lesson pages, put it on this one, put it in one page, even if it's just like super long and you have all different weird combinations, just put it on one page. And then let's say we have everything we need, save settings. For me, I do, because I keep it pretty simple. We'll go ahead and exit. 
And then all I need to do is duplicate this and drag it to another module and then start editing. So I can just come over here and say duplicate. Yes, we're gonna duplicate this. So now I have a copy. I click it down to implementation number four. We'll try that again. Oh, it did work. There we go. And now I can go edit edit it and I'll just delete any of the elements I don't need. So I have this nice master template. And of course, if I don't want people to be able to see it, I can just go ahead and deactivate it. And now it can sit there. It's a template I can use and students aren't going to see it and it has all the information that I need. So I'll go ahead and activate it again here. And of course we could always come up here to view if we wanted to check out what our course looks like. And of course for our students, they can click courses or they can go ahead and click our logo and it will take them to their current enrollments or explore. It just keeps going to explore because I haven't uh, purchased anything here. This is all just a preview account, but I can jump into one of these and you can see how some of the other colors look. I was trying to make purple work. It, it, it didn't work. I, I gave up on it, but uh, there, there you go. So really the only big drawback is not having that extra ability to change this uh, navigation bar color to really match your brand. But after that, you have everything in terms of features that you would need to deliver a course. And speaking of delivering courses, let's make sure that we deliver this to the right people. So I'm going to jump back into the backend dashboard here and I will click on funnels. I'm gonna jump into my demo funnel here and then I'm going to go to our sales page or order form. So here I'm gonna to go to automation, uh, actually not automation rules anymore. I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna click on resources. So I'll click resources, I'll select a resource. I'm going to select course, choose course. And you see here, I have a couple that we've been playing with and I'll just choose the template and access. You could do full, you could do full partial or drip. So this is really advanced, right? So you could have one funnel where everyone gets everything at once. And then you could have another funnel where people only get part of the course. And then you could have another funnel where people are dripped out the content. So I don't know how advanced some people's membership sites get, but I'm just gonna say full access, keep things nice and simple. And we can grant access on a specific date and we can even have a expiration um, if this is just like a little preview someone's paying for. So uh, we will go ahead and click on save. And so now when someone purchases, we already have our pricing plan set up and someone will should get access to the course that we set up. And of course, if we wanted to give them access to other things as well, we could just go ahead and say courses and then go ahead and choose the course that we want. And you also have the ability to create course bundles. So for example, if I'm doing this courses and I say, I wanna give them the Hawk VSL copywriter, I'll give them partial access. I'll just give them the sales graphics and unique edge formula for some reason, click on save. Like that's how that would work. That's, that's how granular <laughs> this gets. But if you have a collection of courses that you just want to always sell as a bundle, then you can always come over here to products, come down here to courses, and then click on bundles. And this is going to be where you're going to be able to create a bundle. Once you do, you'll be able to click into it and you'll be able to customize what people have access to. So you can do it in a bundle setting or you could do it inside of your funnel setting. So there's a lot of different places you can do the same thing. It just depends on how you want to keep yourself organized, right? <laughs> this is as long as you can remember what goes where or it's written someplace, you are good to go. Your membership site is all set up and ready to go live. And with that, you are all set and ready to go live with your course. Make sure you check out that link in the description to our sales funnel template pack that has a copy of our top performing sales pages and funnel pages. So you can actually start selling your course, a simple email campaign to again, get your course sales off the ground. And of course the course template and framework that we used in this module. Again, everything we did, it works within the confines of the free plan. And if you ever decide to upgrade, you just have more features and a lot more freedom. But if you use our link and decide to upgrade, we do receive a commission as a way to support this channel. So thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe for more marketing guides, just like this one. And until the next, keep building the business you love. Thank you.